by the mid-15th century, well-crafted and extensive plate armour was being worn not only by the knightly class but also by professional men-at-arms, well-equipped levies and wealthier town militars. The typical medieval sword, wide-bladed with a slight taper, was forced to adapt from a primarily cutting blade into a stabbing spike and tended to find gaps in armour or even penetrate thinner plates. Other warriors preferred a more direct approach to dealing with armour. Weapons such as the mace and hammer were modified to have sharper angles and diamond section spikes to defeat armour directly by pounding and puncturing it like a metal can. Little finesse is required when a stout armour defeating weapon such as a war hammer can pound a dent into even a breastplate breaking ribs beneath. These weapons may have lacked the noble image of the knight in his sword, but a pragmatic knight may have relegated his sword to a secondary weapon and used the hammer such as this in the thick of the chaos of the melee, where time and room for finesse can be restricted in a combat with multiple opponents. This war hammer would have been called the Martel del Fer, the Hammer of Iron, by the medieval warrior who wielded it.